<laughs> Reality television has allowed us to peek into the private lives of regular people and even celebrities. It's come a long way since its early days. Looking back, some were memorable and some were cringeworthy, but you couldn't help but watch them all. So why don't we get a little nostalgic and go back to where it all started in the early 2000s. The Simple Life Back in 2003, the reality TV genre was just taking off, and The Simple Life, starring Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie, was a show unlike anything we'd ever seen before. Two rich and beautiful socialites give up their riches to live with a family in Altus, Arkansas. What was supposed to be an experiment in learning how to work and live amongst regular people turned into a mockery of rich girls gone lazy. The girls usually came off as rude, snobbish, and self-absorbed. The show unfortunately gave reality TV a bad name. And although some despised it, it would somehow suck you in and you just couldn't look away. Obviously, with such catchphrases like, That's hot. That's hot. That's really hot. How could you? Laguna Beach. If you were in high school in the early 2000s, then you probably watched this teen reality show. It centered around a group of teens who went to Laguna Beach High School in Orange County, California. And it followed the drum of teens, their love triangles, strained friendships, and those deep, pondering questions of what we will do after high school ends. It was where we first met LC, aka Lauren Conrad, one of her love interests, Stephen Coletti, and her evil nemesis, Kristen Cavallari. Hearts were broken, there was a lot of crying, yelling, fighting, and we were invested in all of it. But hey, we can't help it. Who doesn't like watching a little drama in other people's lives, right? The Hills as soon as we thought it was all over, saying farewell to Laguna Beach, MTV pulled us back in with even more drama and greater storylines with The Hills. It was Laguna, but better. The Hills centered around Lauren Conrad as she followed her dreams into the fashion industry after graduating high school. The show introduced us to a whole new cast of amazing characters like her love interest, Brody Jenner, her bestie, but not for long, Heidi Montag, and Heidi's new boyfriend, Spencer Pratt. Oh, and who could forget Justin Bobby? There was even more crying and a good dose of drama. Lauren and Heidi's friendship was forever severed because of, well, Heidi knows. What did I do? What did I do? Poor Lauren was on a roller coaster of emotion every week, and we were there for it all and loving it. Newlyweds, Nick and Jessica. Remember when Nick Lachey was married to Jessica Simpson? Well, if you don't, there is literally a whole reality series filmed around their entire marriage, from right after their wedding to a few months before they got divorced. This reality show was surprisingly entertaining. Most viewers enjoyed peeking into the private lives of two rich, successful, and very beautiful young pop stars. Perhaps what was most entertaining was the constant, ridiculous thoughts and comments that would come out of Jessica's mouth. Even Nick was shocked at the things she would say and do. Honestly, how can you forget Jessica's classic confusion around tuna and chicken? Is this chicken what I have or is this fish? The Ashley Simpson Show Even Jessica Simpson's younger sister had her own reality show. The show was pretty entertaining and followed Ashley as she began her career as a singer and the recording of her debut album, Autobiography. It also followed her as she navigated her new relationship with singer Ryan Cabrera. And although the show didn't last as long as her sister's reality series, it was still a fairly good reality TV. Britney and Kevin, Chaotic A not-so-successful reality show that followed celebrity newlyweds was that of Britney Spears and Kevin Federline. It was exactly as the title suggests. Chaotic. Before vlogs were super popular or a day in the life videos on YouTube were all the craze, this reality show was a low quality, terrible version of that. Brit and Kate Fed shot their own home videos of their personal lives, allowing viewers to see inside their private relationship. Fans would have loved to have a real inside look on this random coupling, but it just made us dizzy and nauseous watching such poor quality videos. The Osbournes The Osbournes was one of the first reality shows out there, and you might not think that a show about Ozzy Osbourne Osborne and his family would actually be entertaining and heartfelt, but it was. The show aired in 2002, and it was the most watched TV series ever on MTV in its first season. The show lasted four seasons in part due to the fact that the Osbournes were a real loving family, but also because they were a bunch of potty mouths who couldn't help swearing even if their lives depended on it. Sharon was a regular mom, and even Ozzy was your classic dad, always complaining about his kids. The only difference was that their house was filled with lots of skulls and crosses everywhere. Oh, and lots and lots of dogs. Punked 
Remember the show Candid Camera? Well, if you don't, don't worry. It was aired on TV a really, really long time ago, and it's definitely not the show we're looking back on. But it was a show where hidden cameras caught regular people off guard and put them in hilarious situations. We're thinking inspiration from that show quite possibly sparked the idea for Ashton Kutcher when he created his popular reality show, Punked. It was a behind-the-scenes reality show where Ashton served as the host and would put celebrities in strange or often over-the-top fake situations. And the stars wouldn't have a clue that it wasn't real, until finally Ashton would step out and announce to the star, you just got punked. If you were in your teens at the time, you were probably punking all your friends. The show was extremely popular and very successful, lasting 10 seasons. In fact, the phrase getting punked was referenced countless times in films and television shows from the 2000s. You just get pumped! Pimp My Ride Although it might not seem like a show entitled Pimp My Ride would be wildly successful, it in fact was. Another popular show by MTV, it ran for six whole seasons. Hosted by rapper Exhibit and his super cool entourage, each episode consisted of taking a rundown, ordinary car in poor condition and restoring it for one lucky candidate. Not only did they restore each car to impeccable conditions, they also went above and beyond that. Every car always had a theme that Exhibit and his team would use to create over-the-top and out-of-this-world modifications. MTV's Next This was a show that you watched because there was nothing else on TV. It was an absurd dating show that you knew not to take seriously. How it worked was one contestant had to choose from five single people, testing them out one at a time on a date. The contestant didn't like their options at any point during their date. They could yell, next! and another single person would walk off the next bus. The show would list three fun facts about each single person, and the facts were always ridiculous and random. Regardless of its constant absurdity, the show made for some easy watching that you could just laugh at whenever you were bored and needed something mindless to watch. Because let's face it, we're pretty certain no one ever found true love on this reality show. Queer Eye for the Straight Guy who doesn't love a good transformation reality TV show? Queer Eye was the first of its kind in that it saw gay men helping their straight counterparts learn about fashion, food, wine, and culture so they could impress the ladies. The show starred Ted Allen, Kyan Douglas, Tom Felicia, Carson Kressley, and Jay Rodriguez. It was people helping people. It's where we learned all about judging, and we saw very hairy, very poorly groomed men clean up and really transform themselves inside out. The show lasted five seasons, and and recently made a comeback on Netflix, starring a whole new cast of Queer Eye hosts, The Bachelor slash Bachelorette. If you don't know the reality shows The Bachelor or The Bachelorette, then you were probably born yesterday, and we really don't know why you are watching this video. The Bachelor franchise has been a staple of reality television entertainment since 2002, and has been running for 24 seasons. Who doesn't love watching people fall madly in love in beautiful and exotic countries? Not to mention all the drama and fighting that happens in between group dates and one-on-ones. The series has kept women sitting in front of their television sets, swooning over handsome bachelors, discussing who should and should not get a rose, and has everyone talking once the final decision is made. And it's even better when the lucky guy or gal gets a proposal. It's romantic and dramatic, and lots of fun to watch it all play out. The Real World it is the longest-running reality TV show on MTV. The Real World was where the modern reality TV genre all started. The show follows eight young adults who live temporarily together in one residence in a specific city, all while being filmed non-stop. In its early years, the show garnered accolades for depicting issues of contemporary young adulthood that young viewers were going through themselves. However, as time has gone on, the show has collected a reputation for showcasing young people acting immature and irresponsible. Project Runway it is another popular reality show that is still running today. It follows fashion designers who showcase their skills as they compete in a series of challenges to win the coveted title and an opportunity to create a collection for the New York Fashion Week. The show is hosted by Heidi Klum and co-hosted by Tim Gunn. What we love about Project Runway is that it is a combination of fashion, transformations, and exciting designs, as well as the occasional drama from time to time. Because each designer is limited in time to create one epic outfit each each episode, it always comes down to the wire. It's exciting to see what will happen and whose design will inevitably be eliminated by the judges each week. My Super Sweet 16 Once again, MTV creates another amazing and yet terrible 
reality TV show. One that you know you shouldn't be watching because you realize how spoiled and bratty some teens truly are. But you watch it anyway. Each episode followed one very rich 15-year-old a few days before their 16th birthday and the lead-up and preparation to their very special and important day. From handing out invitations to design and decor, these teens go all out and usually invite the entire school to their parties. Everything is above and beyond, and their moms and dads give them everything their little hearts desire. Usually a super expensive and fancy car. We might watch the episode just to judge these teens and their excessive over-the-top celebrations, but at the same time, we secretly wish we were them. It was a love-hate relationship that you just couldn't stop watching episode after episode. America's Next Top Model Hosted by Tyra Banks, this 24-season reality modeling competition followed aspiring models as they competed for the title of America's Next Top Model with a chance to begin their career in the industry. Each episode had the models go through challenges related to becoming a high-fashion model, from go-sees to learning the catwalk to practicing their poses. The best part was always when they had to go through makeovers, and that one girl who always cried because her hair was cut short. Each episode ended with a photo shoot that determined determined who would be eliminated by the panel of judges. ANTM was full of high fashion fights and fun. It always had at least one girl starting drama for no reason, and even once had Tyra lose it on a contestant who had a little too much attitude. I have never in my life yelled at a girl like this! America's Next Top Model taught us all how to be supermodels, know our angles, and even learn how to smize. So what do you think of this blast from the past of reality TV shows? Which ones could you not wait to watch every week and then dish about with your friends? You know you secretly enjoyed watching at least one of these shows. Let us know in the comments! Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to The Taco for more.